my dad is Congolese and he was always, uh, we didn't have TV until I was maybe like 13 and um, he was always telling us stories um, before bed, like not reading from a book, but just like stories that he's been told by aunts and uncles and parents. And those stories, I guess, like really created like a whole array of um, images that kind of are probably bubbling up, you know, in the work now today. Drawing for me has always a very kind of like performative aspect. It kind of engages the body in something that can be quite close to choreography. This kind of dialogue between a body and a surface and that's something that I've been always interested in. It's very rare that I can predict what will appear on the paper and I'm really trying to stay in this state that is almost like close to channeling different images maybe that are passing through my body and present. The owl, like this night bird that has high significance actually in like a lot of folklore and anything pertaining to like ancestral knowledge or secrecy. And there's also a lot of faces that I don't necessarily know. I, I, I never really draw from images or from, um, you know, people that I know, but I guess like they are manifestations of what my, I don't know, my brain has stored over the years. With titling, it tends to kind of fixate things, so I'm always trying to think about titles that have a certain multiplicity within them. And so the muse can be seen indeed um, as like this figure in Western art history, but also could be like connecting back to my African heritage, um, because somehow they've always been present in my life and through what my father kind of passed on to us, but I'm also trying not to define them too much. I wanted like to let those figures kind of like speak for themselves in a way. We thought about how one is gazing over another and maybe there is interaction with the light. So the frame is not only like a container for the work, but it's also a way for it to exist differently. That's where I'm seeing the connection with performance maybe, or like my interest in anything ghostly, the realm of the invisible. And so that's kind of like where things kind of intersect um, in, in this new series. Yeah.